What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Avery here, and welcome to a Mr. Room discussion. So I want to talk today about what is it that Mr. Room need uh, to actually be a good deck. So make sure you smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button and the like button and the bell and all that other fun stuff down below the video. And thank you so much for almost 700 subscribers. So keep on smashing away so that we can eventually get to 1,000 subscribers. So, Mr. Runes, you know what it is at this point. It's a brand new archetype that likes to mill the deck of the opponent and just not let them have any fun. Um, but here's the thing, though. They only have two monsters that are in the extra deck. I feel like something that they really need is more cards in their extra deck that help facilitate plays, as well as some sort of main deck monster that can help get to your field spell. Like, yeah, we have things like Planet Pathfinder and Terraforming and Metaverse and things like that, but I still feel like an in-house monster that can do a lot for the deck and just be a Stratos and search the field spell or, and what have you will help the deck a lot, because this deck is very similar to like Mystic Mind Stall or Mystic Mind Burn, anything Mystic Mind related, is that it revolves around its field spell. If it doesn't get to this field spell, it's really going to have a hard time uh, beating other competitive decks in the meta. Now, I don't know if everything from Tactical Masters has been revealed for this deck. I'm assuming that because YGO Organization and uh, Konami and all that haven't really said anything, I'm assuming that everything has been revealed for this deck at this point. However, there's always the possibility that we could get more support for the deck in another core booster set or a side set, what have you. Um, to help push this deck further to where it needs to be. Um, because right now, what we have is very good. These quick play spells are really solid. The fact that the field spell lets you activate quick play spells, specifically Mr. Room quick play spells from your hand during your opponent's turn, is very good. Um, the fact that the continuous spell, the one continuous spell that they have, anytime you play a quick play, you can mill the top card of the opponent. That is really good. And all of these cards banish. They don't just mill to the opponent's grave. They banish, which is really something that mill has needed for a long time. You know, you look at really slow cards like Needle Worm or Warm Worm that mill cards off the opponent's deck. They send them to the graveyard unless something like Dimensional Fissure or Macrocosmos is on the field. And really, just about every deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! minus Flunderies and maybe some Rogue Picks uh, can just play cards from their graveyard at any time. Even Grimmaju can, because now they have access to Fairy Tale Snow, so if that goes to the grave, uh, they can just banish cards from the grave to bring it out, and the same goes for Gizmek. So the fact that it just straight banishes is very, very good. People have been combining this deck with Sky Strikers. However, at the same time, I feel if you're going to be playing Sky Strikers with this, you might as well just play straight Sky Strikers, because that's just going to be better. Yeah, you won't mill the opponent out, but yet Sky Strikers can grind more than a hot girl in the club. So if you're playing a bunch of hand traps with a typical Sky Striker deck, you're going to do better than by trying to mill the opponent out. And again, it really revolves around the field spell. Are you really going to try and have a have a balancing act of area zero and this? Like, no, it's just not going to happen. All right, sorry about that, you guys. I had to do a jump cut there. I forgot that I had my alarm set. So back to this. Um, you know, I feel that just more support needs to be thrown at this deck, whether it's a search monster, whether it's a trap card, whether it's just something that helps the deck go faster. Because let's be honest, in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, the speed at which this deck goes, assuming that you don't open with the field spell and go first, is just not quick enough. And I can't tell you how many hands I've had that are just dead unless I have the field spell, in which case they turn godly. And the difference between this and, say, like Mystic Mind Stall is that you can run cards like Demise of the Land, Metaverse, Terraforming, and even Planet Pathfinder if you want, because once you get that Mystic Mind set up with Field Barrier, it doesn't matter how empty your field is, because if the opponent can't out the Mystic Mind, then they can't do anything to you. This Mr. Rune Field Spell is not Mystic Mind. It doesn't stop your opponent from doing anything. So, you know, you can afford to play things like Demise of the Land and Mystic Mind, because even if your opponent's popping off and trying to special summon, the moment that they do, you can just go Demise of the Land, bring out Mystic Mind, and the opponent's turn pretty much ends if they can't out the Mystic Mind. This, the opponent goes summon DP, you go Demise of the Land to get your Mr. Rune Field Spell, it's like, okay, um, I'm still going to attack you for game. 
So it just, it doesn't cover enough. And I feel like they either need more monsters. Actually, they just, they need more monsters for their extra deck period. These two just aren't going to cut it. And they need some sort of main deck monster that can help slow the opponent down. Um, unless there's some secret sauce that someone has thought up that pushes this deck to new levels of just explosiveness and can beat the opponent within a couple turns. Uh, this deck just needs more oomph. Um, and that's not to say that this deck can't mill the opponent out a couple turns. You get the field spell set up, and you start playing quick play spells during both you and your opponent's turn, this deck will mill out the opponent within a couple turns, whether they're playing 60 cards or 40 cards. Um, they're playing 60 cards, it might take you an extra turn, but I mean, even then, that's not really going to matter when you're just popping off like crazy. So guys, let me know what you think about Mr. Runes down in the comments. Um, I, I think that this deck is very cancerous and toxic. I, I feel like, honestly, what's going to happen is that on our next ban list, Mystic Mine is going to get banned, and then a few months later in Tactical Masters, we're going to get this deck, and then we're just going to have more cancer in the format. Just we eliminate Mystic Mine, which is a bigger problem overall. So thank you guys for watching. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for being patient while I did not upload. My medication was just kicking my butt. So it feels good to be back. I am working on the next Yu-Gi-Oh! Retrospective. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being patient. If you're going to your OTS tournament today, good luck. And I will see you all tonight with a deck profile of what I played at my OTS championship. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.